Hey guys, it's Lucas from iExplore and we are here in Shiodome, which is a very cool architectural district in Tokyo. I'm here with Chika. Hi Chika. Hi Lucas. Great. Hi everyone. <laughs> <laughs> and today we're going to talk about how to shoot a street photo with negative space. So some of you may have heard about negative space. Now, have you heard about negative space, Chika? Mm -hmm. A little bit, right? Yeah. Yeah. So negative space is when there's a lot of empty space in the shot and that actually drives the viewer's attention to the subject, which is occupying, you know, a smaller part of the frame. So we're going to use that idea to our advantage. We're in an area where there's a lot of kind of flat surfaces, gray shapes, you know, a lot of pillars, columns, walls. And we're going to use those to, to create this negative space and then photograph our subjects, you know, sandwiched between those spaces. Sounds great. All right, great. Uh -huh. So come over here with me and I'll show you where we're going to start shooting. Okay. Hmm. And first things first, we need to get our settings in, okay? okay? Now it's very, it's like, it's very dark, but not dark in the sense that it's too dark for the photo, but mm -hmm. it's mostly dark colors. Mm -hmm. So what that means is when the camera takes this picture, it's gonna meter, mm -hmm. it's probably gonna overexpose, mm -hmm. right? So to do that, let's change the compensation, okay? okay. So we're gonna put on minus two, okay? okay. Mm -hmm. There we go. And that's gonna make the photo overall darker, but better exposed for what we're shooting. Okay. And there's one more thing. What do you think of these artificial lights right now compared to the uh, the natural light? The colors kind of weird. It's a little weird, uh -huh. right? The colors a little orange. orange. That might be okay. Uh -huh. And we can fix this in post using Lightroom or, or Camera Raw or something. Uh -huh. But we might as well just change it now using the white balance. So uh -huh. go ahead and put it on incandescent white balance. Okay. Uh -huh. I'll do the same. Uh -huh. All right. And that's going to make the colors overall a little more blue. Uh -huh. It's going to cool off these warm. Um, what do you call these, incandescent lights or whatever lights these are, these are artificial lights, mm -hmm. okay? All right, let me show you the composition, all right? So I'm gonna come over here. You see we have these pillars, okay? And I'm gonna shoot between them so that I get like a little tiny sliver of, of space for the people to be in the shot, okay? There we go. I'm gonna wait for these guys to walk by. And there we go, okay? And that's the shot, mm -hmm. okay? okay? So you see it's extra blue, and I didn't really get a great timing on the people. Mm -hmm. You can, you can get the good one, okay? okay? So don't get too close, stand about there, all right? Zoom in? Yeah, zoom in to like eh, 28, 30, 35, something around there, okay? Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, try a couple, oh, okay? Oh. There you go. Yeah. Not bad, oh. it's nice. Now, one thing, you know, I didn't mention, because maybe mm -hmm. it's not an issue, but where is your focus point right now? Uh, him? You moved it there, right? Yes. So you moved it yourself. Great. Uh -huh. So he's very good forward thinking. I forgot to say that. Uh -huh. In this case, it's important to move the focus point because if we leave it in the center, uh -huh. well, then the camera's going to focus on the pillar and not the little space with the people. Uh -huh. So very good. Moving the focus point was important as well. Uh -huh. All right. Excellent. Okay. Like this? That is perfect. Ah. That is exactly what we're going for. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. Is and it then, too dark? well, let's look at the histogram. Uh -huh. Do you know how to read this thing? Yes. Uh, so so is, it, is, it too, is it too dark? <laughs> well, okay, I don't want to go into the histogram too mm -hmm. much today mm -hmm. for this particular shot. That's a whole other video, mm -hmm. I think. But basically, this one looks fine. And so very briefly, it's not going off the left or the right side, uh -huh. so it's not too dark or okay. too bright. Uh -huh. I think it's great. The thing is that right now, it's nighttime, right? And, um, or almost nighttime. This works better, I think, in the day. Chica, when we just came here, I showed you the spot that I like, right? Mm -hmm. The place where I got my photo. Mm -hmm. But when I first came here, I didn't find that right away. I had mm -hmm. to try a whole bunch of different shots sure. with the other pillars mm -hmm. and, you know. So, you know, I'm teaching you today and I'm teaching everyone watching at home about this shot, but the concept is that when you come to a spot like this, you gotta try a lot of different things. So even though I just showed you the shot that I got and you got some nice ones, I think you should try some of the like other pillars. Explode. Yeah, I think you should, you should do that. You should do that now and then you could, oh. you could see what else you can get, okay? okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, so we got that shot and it turned out pretty great, right, Chica? Yeah! Good. Mm -hmm. Did you like your photos? Mm -hmm. It was fun to, mm. you know, to explore, look for the, the pillars. The yeah, spot. yeah, we saw you and every single pillar. <laughs> you, we, we couldn't pull you away from the pillars, right? Well, I'm glad you got some good shots. Uh -huh. um, 
I think, you know, my photo from here is in the daytime. We kind of ended up here in the evening today. Mm -hmm. So what are you going to do? You're going to come back in the daytime, uh, right? You're going to try again, sure. which I think is very important. Yeah, yeah, even when you have a good spot, it's good to come back, try again, because at different times of day, you get different mm -hmm. effects, mm -hmm. okay? Make sure you subscribe to us so you can catch more videos on our channel and always challenge your eye.